The location for the sixth Parliament Day was Fort William. Presiding officer Trisha Marwick explained why the Scottish Parliament was visiting the town and surrounding area. We're in Fort William because this is part of our Parliament Day project where we take the Parliament out of Edinburgh and into the local communities. As part of that, we have two committees, the Local Government Regeneration Committee and the Devolution Further Powers Committee, who are taking evidence from local people. The visit started with a civic reception at the Fort William campus of the University of the Highlands and Islands, where pipers from Loch Aber High School piped guests in. After the presiding officer welcomed guests, Loch Aber High School's Youth and Philanthropy Initiative presented an overview of the work they had been doing, encouraging philanthropy in the local community. The People's Panel of the Great Tapestry of Scotland was on hand throughout the evening, allowing locals and the occasional MSP to add their own stitch to history. Music was provided by Celise McMaster and The Buzz Project. Based in a touring bus, this project provides a mobile music studio for young people to develop and showcase their musical abilities. Catering was provided by students from the university, whom the presiding officer visited in the kitchens before the event while they were preparing the locally sourced canopies. Afterwards, the presiding officer and MSPs from the devolution and local government committees were able to meet with local community, business and third sector organisations. The following morning, the presiding officer met local MSP Dave Thompson at Neptune's Staircase, the longest staircase lock in Britain, at the entrance to the Caledonian Canal from Loch Linney. Their first visit of the day was to a local radio station, Nevis Radio, to do a live interview telling listeners in the Loch Haber area about the Parliament and how it works. The next port of call was to Nimble Fingers, where adults with learning disabilities interact with volunteers and high school pupils to learn social skills and develop their creativity through craft-based activities. Using recycled materials, products are made which are then sold to help fund the enterprise. This gave the presiding officer the opportunity to make a start in her Christmas shopping. The Great Tapestry was also on hand, allowing people to make a stitch or two. On leaving, the presiding officer gifted a signed copy of the Great Tapestry book to the Nimble Fingers project. A working lunch at Voluntary Action Loch Aber provided a chance to meet with some of the volunteers from various local initiatives. Voluntary Action Loch Aber is part of the Active Citizens Project, funded by the British Council, which aims to give people the skills to take positive social action to improve life in their community. Meanwhile, the Devolution Committee, led by convener Bruce Crawford, was taking evidence from 16 and 17 year olds on their experience of voting in the recent referendum. And in the evening, the local government committee met to explore how Loch Aber folk get involved in local communities as part of their inquiry in the Community Empowerment Bill. Before leaving Fort William, the presiding officer and Dave Thompson visited the local paper, the Loch Aber News, and met editor Stuart Taylor. What was the presiding officer going to remember about her visit to Fort William? It's been a very, very warm welcome for the Scottish Parliament in uh, Fort William. The two committees have been working really hard um, on uh, their own investigations. I've been out and about in Fort William. I've been meeting with local projects and the local voluntary sector.